Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install scripts on your Rocket Node 5M server. So the first thing you want to do is log into your game panel. After that you want to click on your server. And the first thing we're going to have to do is put our license key in. So to do that we're going to go to the startup tab and go to keymaster.5m.net slash register. Once we're here we're going to put the name of our server. Past, I don't know. The IP of the server, which is the first part. Server type, you could put whatever you want. I'm just going to put dedicated server. Once we do that, we're going to click generate. And then here's our key. We're going to click copy. And we are going to put the paste the key there. Once we do that, we are going to, if you want to change your host name, I'm going to rename this to Cyber Greens Server. All right, so now that's done, we could start the server. So let's see. Let it load. Okay, perfect. Now that it starts, what we want to do is pick what scripts we want to add. So for this example, let's put a 5M forms releases so we could see scripts to add. You could have any script you want to add already. Let's see. And um, let's do something simple. Let's just do a 5M. Let's do V menu. So once we're here, we're going to want to click on the V menu GitHub releases. Click on the newest one. And click on the zip. As that's downloading, we're going to want to connect to FTP. Make sure you have WinSCP or FileZilla installed. I highly recommend WinSCP because it's a one-click login. You just go to WinSCP's website and download now. Once we do that, we're going to click Launch SFTP. Open. Look how easy this is. Yes. And then type in your panel password. And boom. Now we're in already. So what we want to do is we're going to want to open this vMenu folder. And these are the files for the resource. So we're going to open the resources folder. Right click, new, directory, and name it vMenu. Keep in mind, however you name it, capitals included, is how it has to be started in the server.cfg. We're going to click OK. Open it. And drag these files in. Let that load. Perfect. Once that is done, what we have to do is click the folder on our panel. You could close out of this if you want, unless you want to add more scripts and keep it open. Go to server.cfg, and under all these insures, you're going to want to insure your script. So we're going to insure. This starts it, view menu. Once that's done, you want to click save content. But Make sure you check the guide because I know for vMenu, you have to execute the permissions.cfg like, like this. We're going to copy this line and paste it at the top of our CFG right here. Save content. Now that our script is in, we're going to click this button and restart our server. Perfect. Let that load. We're going to copy the entire thing. And now we're going to launch 5M. You could see here it says it started your resource. If it says could not start resource, that means you've done something incorrectly. And if you're on a Rocket Node server, you could go in their Discord and they'll assist you with your script. But now what we're going to do is F8 Connect. If your server's on the server list, you could click play and search for it, but this is faster. So now it loads. Loading screen is also a <laughs> script I recommend, so it doesn't look like this when you log in. But it's the same process for all scripts. If it's an ESX script, you might have to uh, execute a database, but that's optional for that script. But now that we are in, let's see if vMenu works. Click M. Perfect. vMenu is a very nice script. You could change. I don't know, these are some random heads. Yeah, so it completely works. There's customizable permissions in the menu. 
Oops. We don't have a DB script. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We could quit now since we know the script works. If you wanted to add any other script, same process. You connect FTP, resources, drop it in, then start it in the server.cfg. Please do not try to upload folders through the online uploader, as this is meant for just strictly text files and editing files. And if you want to enable txadmin, which you could do here, you could do the same process through txadmin. But that's pretty much it. This is how to install scripts on your Rocket Node 5M server. If you need any help with your Rocket Node product, join their Discord, discord.gg slash Rocket Node. They have a 24 hour support staff, so if you need anything, contact them. Anyways, have a great day.